Okay, so it really is leftovers day today. We had a um, lamb roast dinner on Sunday night because James got back from his ski trip, so I thought we'd better have something good and nutritional, a nice bit of lamb for him there. This is everything that was left over. Mashed potato, so I always make far too much. I never have got it right in my entire life. A bit of cabbage left over as well. Um, that's the rest of the egg from the quiche last night, and again with the cheese. So, bubble and squeak, or my version, which I, I tend to call splitters, which is a, a a cross between a splat and a fritter. Um, although you don't have to fry them, you can bake them. Now, pretty much anything can go into these, and these not a set recipe. The best ones I do are the day after Christmas when we have um, mashed parsnip left over, and they are always absolutely sublime. But what we're going to do is just um, put it all in the big mixing bowl, shape it together, and see how it comes out. So, this mashed potato, this was um, made on Sunday, Sunday evening, and I did put quite a bit of cream and butter in it, I must say, because I do like to cook mash like that. But they were just normal um, mashing potatoes. Um, now, I'm going to put the egg and the cheese in next. So, I'll go with the egg. You do not have to add the egg. I just have it here and it helps to bind it. But they will stay together even if you don't add the egg. Um, I promise you. So, there's the egg. Uh, I actually think all that cheese can go in. I'll put a little bit, stir that round, and then add the rest. So easy. No rules really. I mean, it's very nice to put a little bit of chopped onion, um, maybe a bit of um, carrot. We haven't got any carrot left, unfortunately, all that got eaten. So. black pepper in now just in case I forget in a minute which wouldn't be the first time and I don't think it's necessarily going to need all the cabbage let's see how we get on let's put about half bit in first there we are. well actually yes it might do let's put a little bit more we might end up using all of this Actually, I think that's enough because otherwise they might not hold together. So I'll use that little bit of cabbage later. Yeah. Some of these bits actually are quite big. Um, because obviously this was for roast dinner, so I'm just going to pull those apart then. Right. Literally, that is it. So I'm going to get my hands in now. I've got some fat heating up on the pan there, which is just um, olive oil. You can fry in butter, half olive oil, half butter. Nice light olive oil is best. I didn't actually have a very, very light one, it's just a normal one. So a little bit of flour on my hands. And I'll just show you, I'll make one. But this is probably going to make about four. Yeah, I'd say four. So it's just gonna be a splatter. That's it. And in it goes into the pan carefully. There we are. And that's gonna fry for about four minutes on each side. Um, and so I'll show you when we're finished. Okay, so they're done, looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's the quiche from yesterday, which was just, um, I, I sauteed some bell peppers, some mushrooms, and it's the usual quiche recipe, a bit of grated cheese, three medium eggs, um, about a third of a pint of milk into a pastry case. Um, so simple. Um, so here we go. I think, oh, look at that. I think leftovers sometimes taste even better than stuff that you deliberately make, and this is going to be no exception. So, yeah, and congratulations again to Hayley. I'm so enjoying this in Paramore today, and I hope you have a wonderful, long and happy marriage and a fantastic future together. Um, and yeah, so we're off to scoff these now, um, probably with a little green salad, I think we'll put with that, or maybe some peas. Okay, bye viewers, take care, be kind to each other, and see you soon.